Let's take a number set. Let's take um, the integers, if you will. What are we gonna do with them? We're gonna perform some operations. Are you talking about that one game where they kind of had the heavy set guy with the red nose and you had to pick bones out of his legs and then they go like Ehh. No, not that operation. Operations with real numbers. Baseball operation. I'm never gonna get that. Sure. What am I talking about? We're gonna add them, subtract them, multiply them, and divide them. Mm-hmm. Talking about adding real numbers. Let's add integers. Um. Something like two plus three. Some of y'all are like five. But let's break down into as y. Okay. Um. This is, uh, say, rocks. These are two rocks. And then what do you do? You go to it and you add three more rocks. And you're like, don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still. You know where I was going with that. Uh-huh. This is uh, one, two, three, four, five rocks. Perhaps we should have made it so that it came out to be 30 of them. Hmm. So that's five. Sure. Good stuff. Another way that you can see this addition, this addition is on a number line. All right, what are we doing? We're adding signed numbers. They have the same sign. What do you do? Add them. That's right. You add them. So I'm going to start out here at zero. Positive numbers mean that I go right on my number line. Yeah. Um, so from zero, I go right, one, two. Uh, that's what this two tells me. Then it goes further, and we go further. It tells us to go right three more. One, two, three more. So this was the two, that was another three. So then like Boost Mobile, where you at? You're at five? So from a graph, you can tell that two plus three is five. But wait, there's more. That's not the part that gets you, is it? No, no. It's these different scenarios that end up doing you in. These are the ones that get you. We got this, two plus three, that's five. Great. What about two minus three? What about minus two plus three? And what about minus two minus three? Tee hee, tee hee. What I wanna do is I wanna examine the signage on each of these scenarios when we're doing these operations, addition and subtraction. Yeah. Um. If they have the same sign, then you add them and associate the sign. If they have opposite signs, then you subtract and associate the bigger. If they have opposite signs, then you subtract and associate the bigger. If they have the same sign, then you add them and associate the sign. Let's go ahead and go through that. Sure. Do these have the same sign? Yeah. So what we do, we added them and associated the sign. They were both positive, so it's positive. Here, these have opposite signs, so what do we do? We subtract. Can I take two from three? Yes. And what do I get? I get one. Now, which one's bigger? The three is bigger, so this is gonna be negative. The way I see it, the way I see it, you have two good guys. Three bad guys come along. They fight. Who wins? The bad guys. How many do they win by? They win by one. Good stuff? So you got one bad guy left? If you're on a number line and you started here at zero, this is a, a, a positive two. So you go right, one, two. And then from that point, 
then you go left, three. Some books will say two plus a minus three. This is useful when you're dealing with the number line, but this is how you see it in the wild. Then you go, then you go, then you go left, three from there. One, two, three. And then like Boost Mobile, where you at? Minus one. Good stuff. But that's the way I like to see it. I like to see it as good guys and bad guys, right? Over uh, here now. Great. Do they have the same sign? No, they don't. One is negative and one is positive. When one is negative and one is positive, then you subtract and you associate the sign of the bigger. Sure. Can I take two from three? Yes. And what do I get? I get one. Which one's bigger? Two or three? Three is bigger in absolute value. Okay, I know on a number line that two is the farthest most left. I'm talking about an absolute value. Um, their size. Three has a bigger size than two. What does that mean? It's further away from zero on the number line. Here's zero, minus two would be over here. Three would be right there. So, um, which one's bigger? The three is bigger because it's further away from zero. Had you gone about this and you tried to do the number line thing, first you'd go left two, one, two, and then from that point, you'd go right three, one, two, three, and there you are. You're right there at one. Okay, so we see we have one. And we're done. One more. This guy, wicked, wicked. You need to take a look at that. Do they have the same sign? Yes. Now that they have the same sign, what are you gonna do? If they have the same sign, you're gonna add them, and then you're gonna associate the sign. So I'm gonna add them. What's two plus three? But I thought we were doing subtraction. All right, so you have two bad guys. Then three more bad guys come along. How many bad guys do you have in total? You have minus five, or you have five bad guys in total. Good stuff. If you're on a number line, you start out here at zero. That says go left. Left how far? Two. One, two. And then go left three more. One, two, three more. So if you count the ticks away from zero, you are minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five away from zero. Good times? Skills. A box. And a flower.